some of the best conductors um, are first instrumentalists. Once you reach a certain level of musicianship with your instrument, you start to feel very comfortable with it, right? Naturally, just like you would with anything else uh, that you do with your hands, or it, it becomes second nature. It becomes a part of you, uh, becomes a part of your voice. It gives you an outlet um, for times that are very hard in your life, um, and you need to make some sense out of, out of something. And that music is always there. It's always there. And it's always that, that balance. It, it's up to you to find it. Um, but the music's always there. When I was 11, I started learning the cello. Um, and that was a, a part of our school district's arts program where you got to choose between band, choir, and orchestra. I talked to a couple conductors in the area and they were a little discouraging to be honest. And so that was something I, I had, I kind of put away an idea I put away for a while and decided oh, I'll just focus on cello then. And so while I was at Portland State University um, studying music, I realized the following year when I would be applying for graduate school that there would be a teaching assistantship open. So I applied for the teaching assistantship and luckily I got that position. And to my understanding up until that point, it was just a management position. So I was all for orchestra manager and when he said assistant conductor, it, uh, it uh, frightened me a little bit. I didn't know, I didn't think I was ready at that point. Luckily, um, my, my conductor, he, um, he strongly encouraged me to start this path of conducting. After I graduated, I learned of two positions that were open in Eastern Oregon. One was a, an instructor um, for the Oregon East Symphony in Pendleton, um, and the other was music director of the Grand Ronde Symphony Orchestra. I applied for both uh, at around the same time, found myself here in August of 2018. So one thing about um, the Grand Ronde Symphony um, that immediately drew me uh, to it in my interview process um, was the communal aspect, the sense of community, how friendly and warm and inviting and welcoming everybody was during that whole process immediately clued me in uh, that this would be a great organization to work for. With conducting, you are not limited to just your own instrument. When you're conducting, you are expected um, and trusted with every single note that is played within a given orchestral work. Um, so <clears throat> not only are you thinking about intonation, not only are you thinking about rhythm, but you're also thinking about the story that's being told with a piece. You're, you're anticipating what's coming um, and guiding this, this, this group of, of, of human beings that, that all clearly uh, have gotten to this point because they love music. Um, you are helping to guide this group of people uh, through a coherent story. There are, there are no distractions um, from the entirety of the work. Um, with all of your uh, symphony members, um, as well as the conductor. Um, everybody has a common objective, and that's to just make the best music that you can.